Hi, welcome to episode two of my Mind Focus. Okay, so I said that I wasn't going to bring Fox to the next video, but here he is. In this one, I'm going to talk about the process of me starting my own YouTube channel and how I gained my very first subscriber, and it wasn't him. So the first thing I, wanted, I needed to do, I needed to uh, find my own niche. Um, I needed to find something that I kind of knew a little bit about um, and that I was quite good at. Um, for me, it was photography, so that was easy. Let's not bang our feet, Fox. Hey, let's just pop our feet. I have a lot of camera equipment. I thought I'd call it all the gear. And if people know me, they'll know that I don't often have uh, a huge knowledge of everything I buy, hence all the gear, no idea. <laughs> so then, we needed to design a logo. Um, I went onto a website called Canva, um, and it's a great site, you can design your, your logo, you can design your thumbnails for your pictures, and you can do your channel art. You can do this pretty much all from your phone. I'll put a link up here somewhere. Um, and I learned that off um, off a lady, I think her name was... Sunny Lunds something? Um, Lin, Lin a Doozy. <laughs> Makes it very difficult to do anything. She kind of like showed me how to go on to, to Canva and to do all the things. You don't have to work out the dimensions. It pretty much does everything for you. Then, I needed to decide on a subject. You need to pick on something that people want to want to know about, hence they'll want to search for it. You don't want to review something that's like 20 years old, like an old Nike shoe, because people just don't want to know about it because they've either already bought it or they've watched another channel. So you need to pick your the newest thing that you have in your equipment. Um, and for me, mine was my camera gimbal. I'll put another link up here, there, there. Where is that, Fox? Up. Hmm, I'll subtitle that. Um, if you can't do this, then just pick something that you think people will be interested in and just talk about it. People want to know stuff. That's why people come onto YouTube. Then it was into creating the video. Now I have a Panasonic GH5, which I'm filming on now. Uh, and I use a Rode mic. I put it in 24 frames per second, 8-bit 4K, so it should be as crystal clear as a crystal clear thing. Um, then I had to transfer everything into Premiere Pro, edit things, cut things up, just make small edits, just take out the ums, the me shouting at Fox and telling him to be quiet, him turning lights off. Oh, he's turned the lights on. Fox, can you turn that back on, please? It'll come on for about three seconds and then he'll turn it off again. Good boy, thank you. Come away a helicopter oh, aeroplane outside um, and just small little cuts like you've probably seen throughout the video. Someone on the phone? Oh, fuck, on the phone. Then I learned some minor adjustments to colouring, not anything too big because it's something that I'm learning about um, so hopefully over my videos you'll just see the colour will change and it'll look way more cooler than what it does now. After this I'll be reviewing a YouTube channel on how to fix noisy toys with a sledgehammer. Then I went on to Google AdWords and I chose um, words that would come up high in search rankings. So for example, if you're uh, looking to bake a cake, um, you wouldn't just go on to Google and go how to bake a cake. You might go cake recipes or uh, how to cook a cake, cook a cake, cook a cake, cook a cake. So they're kind of words that you then want to put in your description. So when you're writing it up, um, if someone's searching for that, they'll also come up if they search for the other thing, the cookie cake, um, or how to stick an oven on. Then I went back into Canva, and that's when I created my thumbnail. Um, wanted something relevant, someone that jumps out. It's dead easy, and it's good fun. It's probably like the, the funnest part of the lot, because you can just keep creating different things. Fox is singing now. Good boy, buddy. So when you upload stuff to YouTube, um, this is kind of where the waiting process is. Um, and I waited a long time. Still waiting. And then guess what? Guess what, buddy? After 12 hours, it finally uploaded. 12 hours. 
for a five minute clip on YouTube. So just bear that in mind when you're uploading humongous files, it took that long. Whether that's the norm on everyone's, uh, on computer, whether I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. But it took care for ages. It took like a whole night's sleep for him. And then you've done it. You've got your first YouTube subscriber and my challenge is complete. <coughs> huh? What? I've got, I've got two now. I've got, I've got two. Next video will be how I got my second YouTube subscriber. High five. Fifth one.